Uh, thank you very, mu very much for welcoming me here. So I will not present a new package today, but just an example of use of different packages to uh, construct an entire uh, simulation uh, project using only Julia. In particular, I will focus on the use of SFML that Zachary presented and created, and I thank uh, him a lot for that, and in a scientific-based project, not for a, a game, but for uh, a transportation uh, simulation problem. So let me just introduce, you, uh, introduce quickly uh, the problem I'm trying to solve. So let's say you're the owner of a taxi fleet in a city, and so you have the full control over the fleet. You can say, uh, ask the taxi to pick up this customer or this customer, and you have full control of the past. You're basically the, the control center of the fleet. <coughs> so you want to optimize the actions of all your taxis in order to maximize your revenues and <coughs> The, the path of the different taxis. So this problem can be decomposed in th three parts. First, I mentioned the city. So you want to be able to create a city and how would you do that in Julia? So two cases, either you want to construct the city yourself, in this case a, a virtual city, and for example, you can do that with graph package, like the fast like graph package in Julia, or you want to use a real city graph, let's say in Manhattan, for example, and then uh, Julia has an, an amazing uh, mapping package, OpenStreetMap, that allow, allows you to extract uh, data from OpenStreetMap to have uh, the graphs of the city you want to simulate. Then uh, you want to find the best taxis assignment uh, for your taxis in this city. So it's the, the optimization part. So I'm using uh, the jump uh, optimization suite in Julia that is super uh, powerful and has everything I need. And also, if I need to come up with fast heuristics, Julia is the best language because uh, even if I code it myself, it's still, I do not need to uh, optimize the code a lot to have something that is fast enough. Uh, because let's imagine you have a thousand taxis in Manhattan. If you need to optimize uh, their actions, it takes a lot of computer power. And so you need to have a code that is fully optimized. Finally, and the most interesting part, is to see how your methods are doing. And this is impossible from the console. If I ask you how your taxis are doing in Manhattan, uh, just by looking at the text output, it's impossible. And that's when the visualization uh, intervenes. Uh, <coughs> and in order to do that, I'm using the SFML package to have a real-time visualization. And that's what I'm going to show very quickly right now. Okay, so this is an example of code. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating a virtual city. It's a, basically a square of six by six, and I'm uh, putting six taxis inside with 50 customers. So I'm then running the optimization process to come up with a good solution for the actions of, of all the taxis, and then I will use FM, SFML to visualize the result. So what you are seeing he, here is an SFML output. So you are able to zoom in pretty efficiently. And as you can see, it's really smooth. So the red dots are the taxis in your city, and the blue, dot in the blue uh, circles are the customers. So when the taxi is moving a customer, you can see uh, uh, the blue circle around the taxi. So the simulation is going on. And with the speed of SFML, I'm able to uh, speed, it, speed things up. And like, it's super smooth, as you, as you can see. Like, Speed is not the problem. So the colors in the graph represent the speed to take this or, or this road. But this is a very simple simulation, and it's not like a real case uh, uh, one. If you wanted to simulate again in Manhattan, uh, perhaps sp speed would become an issue. So I have another example, which is a graph a little more complicated. Let's see how it goes. OK. So here you have another virtual city that I created. And you can see there are a lot more taxis on the city. Let's speed things up a little bit more. And you can see the taxis' behavior during uh, the course of a day, which is completely optimized to have uh, the minimal uh, 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 rides without any uh, uh, passenger inside. Let's do, do it again. You can see it's very easy with SFML to slow things down a lot, to speed it up again, to zoom in 
to move, no speed issue at all. Then I will just conclude with an example with a real network this time. Unfortunately, I will just show the network, but not the simulation and the network because it's still a work in progress. So perhaps you recognize it. <laughs> so this is Central Square. As you can see, it's still as smooth as before, even if I have more than. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> and well, I'm able to do a lot of things. So this is not very useful, but it's very cool. <laughs> and yeah, soon there will be a lot of taxis in here too. Thank you for your attention. So, uh, there are so in the virtual cities, I'm generating it uh, myself with some, uh, so using like actually distributions.gl. So I have exponential uh, lows of uh, waiting time between cus customers to generate them. And then I select the locations randomly. Uh, in the second city that I showed, the one that was like a flower, there was a complicated dynamic of um, uh, downtown and suburbs. And depending on the time of the day, you would have different customers that want to go from suburb to suburb or from downtown to suburb or uh, at night from suburb to downtown. Uh, no, downtown to suburb. And so, yeah, I can do it however I want. And for uh, Manhattan, actually, we have a real uh, taxi database. And the customers we, are sim we will be simulating are like from this uh, like yellow cabs database, so real customers. Thank you.